Oh, I have had this shirt for a long time. I love it. <laughs> it's like one of my most colorful sh shirts. And then I have a pair of pants that are like super colorful and they have like designs and stuff on it. So, um, I don't know. I'm not wearing those right now though, but they're like super colorful pants. I think I believe I got them at Ross and I know I've got this at Ross. So, yeah, my brother bought this for me. It was really sweet. It's the um, Extra Strength Energy Drink. It's the 7-Eleven brand that I love. So, and I cannot wait until I get paid at midnight. It's going to be super awesome. So, but it kind of sucks that, like, I have to wait, like, tomorrow during the day to actually go to Walmart or something. But, yo. Know, that's what happens when you don't drive. But, um... Thinking maybe, since I don't have to babysit tomorrow, to talk my brother into going, like, to, um, Big Lots or something, like, walking there. Or maybe some other place. I love you. Oh, guess what else we're getting? What? Ice and soda. Good. Ronnie. I worked it today. Ronnie. What? I was thinking we need to make a trip somewhere. Where? I really want to make a trip to Walmart, but I know you don't want to walk that far. Oh, you can walk that far if you want. Yeah. It's far, maybe. But I'm thinking we should walk our, our happy butts to Big Lots. Okay. Let me get paid. I know. Yeah, so I want to, like, do that, but I'm happy because, like, I found cigarettes, um, so. I have, like, more cigarettes than I thought I had because my sister found some cigarettes of mine in her room in the closet, so. And they're, like, packaged and everything, so they're, like, legit, like, there's nothing wrong with them, so. But I don't know how old they are, but. Um, I knew that cigarettes don't go bad, but I looked up anyways if they go bad, which they don't. <laughs> I mean, if they're in good condition and everything, and not like in the rain or something like that, then there's going to be nothing wrong with them, so, yeah. But, <clears throat> that was my brother that I was talking to, but, um, I don't know, right now my friend's in the hospital, so, um, I don't know if he left the hospital or not, but, um, he went to the hospital last night, or yesterday sometime, I got to talk to him, like, super late at night, um, and I just wanted to get better so I can hang out with him, but, I don't know, I want to, like, spend time with him as soon as, soon as possible, so, but, <sighs> yeah, I'm just chilling right now. It's not really that sunny right now because it's like six something. Um, I was originally over there earlier today and I moved over here. It seems right here, it's more shady, like, all day. So, I don't know. But, like, some point of the day, sometimes it's more, like, not so shady. So, I, like, have to move. And then, like, later on, like, I move back. But I always end up here. Like, I always end up in this spot um, at night and all that. So, but, yeah. That's just how it is. So, I love this shirt though. Like it's got like a hole in the inside. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. It's got like a hole in the inside, but like it's not like it doesn't like interfere with the shirt. You know what I mean? So 
but I don't know. I just like that it's so colorful, and it's like kept like good, like like kept good. You know what I mean? It hasn't really gone like bad or anything like that. Like you know, even though it's like an older shirt, it's actually like kept its stuff. I don't know. A lot of my stuff that I own like lasts for a long time, like shirts and stuff. Like, I have some shirts that I've had for years, you know what I mean? It's just, that's what's awesome about clothes. Like, if you take care of it, you wash it, you know, you don't let it sit out in molds or whatever, it's going to stay good for a long time. And that's the same thing with a lot of Cameron's clothes, too. Like, they last a long time. Excuse me, unless they get holes in them or something, and then you don't really want them. But... Yeah. Oh. <coughs> but I don't know. But we cleaned up today. Um got all kinds of stuff thrown out so but I'm seeing my doctor on the 6th of this month for my psych appointment and my Vegas shot is the same day. So I have to go like at like, I think it's at like 10.35 or 10.45, but I got to be there 15 minutes early, so I got to get my Vegas shot first and then go there. But um, after that, on the 13th of this month coming up, I have to go see how my infection is and all that. And then I believe on the 20th, I'm getting like a, a womanly proxy or whatever. So. I honestly like don't want to get a pop smear. I honestly like want them to actually like figure out if the track infection has gone or not. And then possibly like cancel that appointment to get my feet taken care of you know what I mean so because if they're already checking the infection with running blood tests and all that I honestly don't really need to see a guy now you know what I mean so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna see how that appointment goes and see what's up but I'm more like concerned with just finding out if the infection's gone because of the antibiotics are gone and they said it would only take a week of antibiotics to fight the infection so um yeah, so, but I'm just really concerned with my feet, so I think definitely I'm going to call them soon and um, try to see if I can make an appointment for my feet. Maybe I can cancel that appointment and change, you know, that to a, my feet instead, you know, like get maybe the same day as that for my feet, so. I want to just check my health and everything. I want, really want to get a physical done and, you know, all that. I really want to, like, get, like, a physical done, check everything. I mean, they say my kidneys are fine and all that, but my heart's fine. But, like, I want to, like, check for, like, if I still am far away from diabetes. You know, I want to get that checked. I want to get my feet took, checked out. I want to... Um, check for of course cancer because I smoke you know you can't be too careful and all that so I want to get those things done um, so I think I'd want to do that and then I want to look into next month at the end of next month when I'm starting my girl thing to get on the depo shot and then I want to um, check check to see when my IUD is supposed to run out so that I can get on 
another IUD that is a non-hormonal one. Because my friend told me that getting your tubes tied is really dangerous and you can get really bad infections and everything. And then she says that like the insurance that you have is not going to pay for you to get them untied if you want a kid. So it's like, yeah. Like, like I'm just scared to get pregnant. I mean... I honestly had, I like never do anything with anybody or anything like that, but like, of course I wear protection, but I like never like, I don't really do anything with anybody, but um, I mean, I just, having a child, you know, and all that, like you gotta be careful, so, but um, like, I don't know, it's weird. It seems like some guys think that it's cool to like tell you that, you know, they want to have a kid with you and they want to like you know do all that kinds of stuff like that and it's like no like I do not want to get pregnant anytime soon and I don't want any more kids unless I'm actually married and in a serious commitment you know my son came as a surprise you know I honestly thought that I couldn't have kids and I'm pretty sure that my medication that I was on before made it so I couldn't have kids because um, I was on really heavy um, mental illness medication but um anyways so i'm gonna go sorry that i'm talking so much and sorry this video is so long but um yeah so i don't know it's just life so thumbs up and subscribe i love you guys all right bye